morning everyone, my name's Kaylee and I work at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum and one of my favorite things about walking through our galleries is taking a look at the beautiful handcrafted works in the First Nations galleries, specifically our quill works. And today I thought we'd talk a little bit about the porcupine and its quills. In addition to its quills, porcupines also have long, softer hairs called guard hairs. The only place you won't find quills on a porcupine are around its nose and its entire underbelly. So how many quills does a porcupine have? 200? 1,000? 5,000? Well, it's thought that porcupines have around 30,000 quills on their body, if not more. Porcupines love the inner bark and buds on a tree and will climb high to get these delicious meals. However, they're rather clumsy animals with their short legs and it's not unusual to see a porcupine fall out of a tree. A few staff at the RSM had the opportunity to take an indigenous cultural arts workshop with Holly Zuchipi. Before working with the quills, we learned that they need to be cleaned, a prayer given, and the quills dyed if that's something you want. Various natural materials can and were used for the dyeing processes to achieve different colors. These natural dyes can be chopped up berries, flowers, or even plant roots. So for your take home activity, you're gonna need your pine cone, some pipe cleaners, your color choice, I want a very sparkly pine cone porcupine. Googly eyes. And some woodwork glue or hot glue. Hot glue would probably work best. If you're a little disappointed that pink quills don't come from pink porcupines, no worries. Enjoy the weather and take a walk, keeping an eye out for dry and large pine cones. With adhesive, attach googly eyes to the front of the pine cone porcupine and using pipe cleaners of various lengths, slowly wrap them around the pine cone to serve as your pine cone porcupine's quills and guard hairs. Thanks so much for tuning in. Keep your eyes on our social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube for more RSM at home content.